What is up, me little sugar buggers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. So today, you guys, we are here checking out Kawaii Stacy's latest mod, the Honeymoon Event. This mod came out literally five mere hours ago, and I am so freaking excited because from what I can see, this mod is pretty freaking sweet. So basically, in a nutshell, your sims will now be able to have their honeymoon, which can be spent with each other or with family. This vacation with your spouse will last for a total of two days, but you can always end it early. How to get started. Open your phone slash calendar plan or schedule your honeymoon. The sim that is calling will be the sim that it uses to filter out family and friends. So keep that in mind when you are about to play in your honeymoon. What I really liked here is that there's actual like little icons. Um, so for family, there's like question marks for friends, there's question marks. And then for like you and your spouse, you can like see little like wedding related emojis. I think that is absolutely freaking adorable. Uh, interactions, joke about honeymoon make promises talk about fantasies talk about future plans talk about wedding talk about vows oh my god yes um so these interactions for your spouse will give you a chance at receiving a random buff related to your honeymoon and as you guys can see there's a brand new pie menu specifically related to this event don't forget the honeymoon woohoo of course it says keep your promise rochelle was promised a lot of woohoo <laughs> oh my god honeymoon goal the goal is to do flirty interactions which will bring the romantic uh, the romantic couple closer the prize will be a happy honey honeymoon buff that lasts a total of two days when the buff expires it will give your sins a hidden buff for the slice of life's memory system oh that's cool so if you guys don't know what the slice of life is um you probably probably do but if you don't i do have a review if you guys are interested but basically it's another one of the mods that she does you guys can look on the same website page whatever and you also find it there so slice of life memory i added a hidden honeymoon buff for future updates of the slice of life mod so that sims will remember their honeymoon but it will only last a total of 30 sim days if you don't have the updated version before the 29th sim day then the memory won't count cool all right so all that's left to do now is hop in game and check this bad boy out here we are with our newlyweds we have christian and his beautiful wife alexandria Harp. I actually picked up these sims off of the Maxis Gallery and in case you guys are curious as to what house we are playing in, we are playing um, in a house created by Kayla aka Little Simsy. So, it is time. They got married yesterday. Please ignore this current situation. <laughs> oh my freaking goodness gracious oh my god okay so i do have wicked whims in and if you're wondering like why there is this strange person peeking okay at christian in his short shorts well thank the mods thank the freaking mods so christian just decided he was going to make a nice plate of a pancake pancakes okay pancakes and extra <laughs> syrup for his beloved now apparently uh what maxis did is make them superstar royalty my thing is, is I think they only got married for the fame because together, you know, two superstars, they create kind of like the Angelina Jolie and the Brad Pitt of the Sims world and yada, 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 whatever. They have to make it look legit. It's kind of what I'm getting to. So there are two different ways that we can go about uh, scheduling a honeymoon. If you guys have seasons, what you can do is you can actually just go ahead and click on your calendar, um, click for the next day or whatever day you want to make it and just add a holiday. You could make it an entire freaking shindig granted if you did make it a official holiday um you would run the risk of the event not being a gold event which you would want if you were interested in receiving the rewards associated with this event so it is 500 simoleons to start and it says now that the wedding is over it is finally time for the honeymoon you will be spending the next two days on vacation with the love of your life 
life, you will have an option to invite friends and family or simply go alone. So the thing here is, is if you obviously had friends and family, you could have them tag along. I, again, have never seen anybody do that before, so I'm going to just pass. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to move along. And so I'm actually going to have you be Alexandria and a spouse be a Christian. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place or pick the place that we want to spend the next two days. And my ultimate suggestion to you would be choose wisely because, of course, you're going to be here for a very freaking long time. So I decided to choose the Serenity Resort and Spa located in Sulani. It is a beautiful, beautiful venue created by, again, none other than Little Simsy. And uh, not to mention, I mean, where else would these Sims truly want to freaking be? All right. So let's go and head on over. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. Um, I did notice that Alexandria had a new buff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check that out. And of course, like we, we really, uh, we really married, uh, oh my God, a character. Let me tell you, Christian decided to show up in a chicken suit. I mean, if this doesn't spell out true love, genuinely, like I don't even know what is. So, or what does to be honest. All right. So it says, enjoy your honeymoon together. All we need to do is just, uh, basically finagle with each other 20 out of 20 times basically that's it simple okay um so the moodlet or the buff that i saw her have was this one here is it real alexandria will remember this breathtaking moment this buff actually comes with the slice of life memory system so again i know i've talked about it a lot you guys should definitely definitely pick it up so let's go and see how many days exactly it says click this button to end early or cancel it doesn't actually tell you how long you have which is you know I mean it would be nice to be able to see obviously but it's not the biggest deal ever um, I'm actually gonna have her go and change into her robe and then maybe we could go and uh, do a little woohoo with Christian in the sauna I think that would actually be a lot of fun why is everybody just like standing it's kind of weird to be honest they're like all staring at us so I mean why would you need to really change into a robe or a towel and why the hell are they wearing shoes what the heck um so already we we have completed three out of 20 interactions. So I'm not really seeing any other, like, you know, new things popping up right off of the bat. Uh, however, actually, I take that back. There is a brand new buff, and it says, uh, Honeymoon Woohoo! That was a once in a lifetime experience, but surely not the last. So let's go and also check out some of the brand new interactions. There should be a pie menu, and there it is. I love that Kawaii also added in some really really cool brand new interactions to the system. So let's go in and talk about fantasies, which <laughs> you can also do if you have wicked, wicked whims, by the way. Um, we can also go and let me see, joke about honeymoon, make promises. Let's do that too. He is getting mucho calientito in the sauna though. He probably wants to get out. What else does she, what else does she want to do? She wants to travel to the public venue, uh, flirt with somebody. She also is kind of getting hungry too. So maybe we should go and uh, search for a snack. We're going to be here for a couple days. So technically, we don't need to, like, rush through it all in one sitting. Just keep that in mind. The only reason I'm rushing through it is because, obviously, I'm doing some type of review. So Christian is receiving a phone call, and it says nothing because the person decided to go ahead and hang up. So I think since Alexandria is feeling a little famished, maybe we should go and grab a little snack where she's going to sip on some some bell pepper juice. Ew, who the hell would ever? Like, ew! How about some lemon juice? And how is Christian feeling? He is feeling super duper frisky. I don't know if any of those uh, other interactions that we were, you know, we were um, talking about actually showed up in his buff system. Hold on, let me go ahead and look flattered. There's also just married. He's got a bunch of them. Good dream. Ew, God, gross. Okay, moving on. <laughs> what else? I don't see anything from her talking about like fantasy or making any promises. Oh, wait, hold on. It says honeymoon magic. Alexandria seems to be falling deeper in love. Ooh, I love that. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't even want to know. Oh, God, move on. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Um, pleasantly satisfied. No, I don't see anything else. I think it was just those few. Hopefully there will be some more um, eventually. So she is enjoying her lemon juice in the massage room. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have them come over here and lounge together if they can. They're not in a group, so I'm probably going to have to go and uh, tie them up really quick as well. So he's coming over to give her a little kiss on the cheek. Let's go and relax here on the pier. Let's go and sit together. So I want to see what the what what the reward is for um for achieving all uh, all 20 of these interactions. So come on, Christian. Dude, you need to sit your cooler down because I ain't playing. Oh my god, cat and mouse with you. What is he doing? He is literally dazed and confused. So let's go and tell him a dirty joke. Let's also give this guy a passionate kiss. And maybe perhaps Alexandria is actually falling in love and it isn't some sort of, you know, facade for publicity and all that jazz. I cannot talk. Uh, let me also go and check out some of the other... Uh, interactions like i said i want to i want to make promises so i'm gonna have alexandria you know <laughs> just go ahead and assure christian like i said earlier that this is for real so the only thing that i don't necessarily like is that it says you and then it says spouse i wish it would have said like spouse or you know um what newlyweds or something like that i don't know that's just me it just kind of seems a little bit weird but anyways it doesn't really matter it's just like very small and a teeny tiny little detail so did she specify what promises she ended up making i don't see anything here either so honeymoon woohoo we've got all the same old same how about here so oh lordy okay such a lust for love who who do you desire oh my god these two cannot keep it in their freaking chonies definitely feeling uh, very authentic, very true to a real honeymoon. All right, so let's go ahead and take up residence in one of these rooms. We're going to go and have Alexandria try for a baby because that's what a lot of people do on their honeymoons. Not always, granted, not always, but you know sometimes so we're gonna have them come over here and celebrate a little bit more we only got like six more interactions that we need to do but of course like we've barely even barely even like scratched a little bit off of the time clock not even all right so i'm wondering though if she is pregnant because i'm kind of curious to see what what their babies would look like so how many interactions does that count for Ooh, that actually counted for two interesting <laughs> two for one deal loves that all right so let me go ahead and wake him up because we got a few other shenanigans that we need to accomplish let's go ahead and you know kiss his hands let's do a little sexy pose um let me also go ahead and flirt a little bit we could even use some of the wicked whims interactions if we wanted to now if you guys are curious about wicked whims and you think it's only about the woohooty and the dirty little details of the game i mean yes don't tell me you're coming in here what the hell are you doing vince parker back up beep beep swerve because i'm trying to do some things but yeah it's not all about those things there's also so much more to it which I, I i never realized until i started playing with it and i go into greater detail about what that even looks like um in my latest uh current household update if you guys are interested i will link that video um in, at the end of this one so it looks like you guys we have done everything that we needed to do i was expecting for there to be more interactions on here for some reason um i don't know if that's what i saw i can't really recall but either way it's still nice i like having that little label i love the interactions i think it's just sweet now I, now the only thing that i need you guys is like a retirement party and i would be set like i would be good to freaking go so i'm actually gonna go ahead and end the honeymoon a little bit early because we've already gone ahead and completed all of our tasks so the reward of having a successful honeymoon is a buff that will last for a total of two days and it says the best honeymoon ever alexandria wishes that the honeymoon would have lasted longer so i went ahead and double checked on kawaii stacy's website just to make sure that indeed um there was only supposed to be one interaction or like one goal objective and that of course was just to socialize with your um with your spouse and we did it i was kind of confused i thought there was going to be more but it's okay if there isn't like i said it's not really 
really the biggest deal. It's more of like the novelty of being able to say that you actually celebrated your wedding. And to be honest, even though these guys are like married for fakes, like for not reals, and <laughs> she's talking about baby, she's pregnant, you know it. Um, it still was nice to just kind of have that aesthetic, have that feeling like they were celebrating their wedding. I feel like these things are severely missing in The Sims 4. And as I say with every freaking mod review, I wish, I wish, I wish um, that EA would implement more of these tiny little details, these, these subtle life events, because it really just makes the game so much better. But in the meantime, of course, we have to give thanks to the mods and huge thanks to Kawaii Stacy. This mod is a fuego. I highly suggest that you guys go ahead and check it out. It is available right now on her Patreon, um, and I will link all those details in the description down below. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. If you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to add to this mod, go ahead and leave your comments down below. And with that said, I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.